June 19th, 2023, Juneteenth, camping up at uh, Pally Bridge, up at Pasico Pally Road. It's a beautiful morning up here at Pally Place by the bridge campsite. Bugs really aren't too bad. Uh, it's the best weather of the whole week. And it's uh, sunny. It's warming up very quickly. It was a uh, little cool this morning, but not really bad. I never even turned on the heater. Unlike the rest of the week, which was, well, kind of cool. It was buggy most mornings. And then Friday and uh, Saturday, obviously, were rainy. Yeah, it's a great day. I mean, I know it's going to turn to rain by evening, but uh, I'm taking camp down, heading home. I got to work tomorrow. But it's been five days away from it all. Uh, four nights. One night here at Pally Bridge and the other three at uh, House Pond. Campsite along the road there. And, uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying it. I had a nice fire last night. Stayed up to 11. Was uh, lighting off... Um, uh, sparkler, or not sparklers, but those fountain fireworks off the bridge guard rail, which is really good for that. Not that I did that, but uh, yeah, no, it was great. It was a beautiful night last night. Very quiet. There's a few people camping about a half mile up the road, but uh, can't hear them. They can't hear my music, so that's cool. I, I thought about camping up at the uh, site 10 with, uh, between the spruces, but... Um, you know, I wanted to be a little bit farther away, and I wanted to be right on the river here so I could, you know, uh, kayak or, you know, hop in the tube and float. I did both last night. I floated in the river for about uh, 45 minutes, but it was kind of cold uh, yesterday. I mean, it was sunny, but it was cool. And then I kayaked for about two hours, did the whole loop, you know, all, all the way down to the second Breaver Dam, and then back up to the where it gets too shallow to paddle. And it's a beautiful June day today, for sure. I mean, it's fantastic. I wanted to maximize it. I don't have any reason to rush back home, so I definitely plan to spend as much time as possible. I might hike back to Big Alderbed just to get my steps in. And then do some floating on the river. Maybe do another kayak, a little bit more kayaking. And maybe hit the potholes up if I have enough time before the rain comes. I don't know. I mean, it's a beautiful day. I'm hoping that... Uh, for, uh, the, the storm weather has been pushed off. I haven't seen the weather, obviously, in uh, five days because I don't have a radio up here. And uh, so I, I actually have a weather radio in the truck. I could turn it on if I want, whether it's curious, but I don't care. I mean, it's going to storm some point this afternoon uh, or evening, and at that point, I probably will need to head home. But um, I don't have any real rush to head home. I have enough clothes for tomorrow. It's a dress up day for work. So I just got to take things down and put it away. But it shouldn't be too, too bad. You know, I've eaten up most of the food I pack. So it's not like I have tons of stuff to unpack. And then, yeah, there's some dirty clothes. But I'm going to wait to do the wash for a couple of days. Or, or maybe just you just pick up some more um, undershirts and uh, boxers. Because the ones I currently have are all too big for me. And I just feel like I should, you know, this is an excuse to replace them while I need, I can I've oh, got the Canadian geese up above. Can't believe how beautiful it turned out this morning. Always the last day of camping. It's always the nicest day. I mean, there's been exceptions, but generally that's often the case. And that sun feels great. And I think it's going to be in the, the mid 70s, which is pretty good for this time of year up here. Maybe even a little warmer. You get a good sunny day where that sun comes out. The sun angle at 70 degrees by noon time, or well, one o'clock. You know, it really warms up quickly. And it is astoundingly beautiful today. I, I do want to get back up here either in July or August. At least one more time. I don't know if, you know, probably do the house pond campsite. And, you know, if I like floating on the river, it's finally really nice and warm. And then maybe in the fall, I'll do that. Uh, the site with the spruces, I really like. But, uh, you know, I'd rather have one there's no one else around up there. And um, if it was amusing, just stir the stars. Stars weren't terrible last night, although there were enough clouds, it kind of made it a little hard to see some of the stars. But yeah, um, yeah. So this um, this bridge is nice. It's not as pretty as the old Pally Bridge, but I mean, it does the trick. I don't know if they're gonna put a permanent bridge here. They're just gonna use this uh, temporary bridge for the foreseeable future. I mean, there's no real reason they have to replace it. Um, you know, it seems to work fine, and 
it's not the prettiest bridge, but gets you across the creek. And I mean, this whole road has been, you know, fixed up since that 2019 storm, so it's it's nice and smooth. And it's really usually very well maintained. But yeah, um, yeah, it's been a great trip. I'm gonna start taking things down, and then I'll probably hike and swim and maximize the day before I have to head home and uh, move forward on uh, work and whatever's gonna be my next trip. Well, have a great day, everyone.